acid. So here we're going to write aspartate, aspartate, as I like the chemist version, ASP, ASP. Instead of ASAP, just remember ASP, and this should be little, this should be lowercase, I just messed that up. You do have to learn this stuff. It seems like nitpicking, but once you learn it, it makes sense. This is stuff you can trust. If you're one of those doubtful students, trust this. Capital letters, always the first one capital. On your elements, same way. Neon, big N, little e. So, over here again, I can trace it because I can see it. There's diamond. Over here in the same place is going to be our triangle. And in the middle, we know we have our diamond, right? So see how easy this is becoming again? Up here, the way we drew it. There's the O. And what comes down here? Aspartic, aspartate. So there's going to be an ion on the end of it. But we know right off the get-go, there's a diamond right there. So C, C, N, C. Flip it over, look, what do we got? We got a carb, this is called a carboxylic acid. We're going to draw it with the proton gone to show the way this thing ionizes in water because what it's going to get, what do we got? One carbon, we, we need another carbon in the middle there. And you know, I'm probably just going to confuse you by doing that. So let's just keep the traditional notation that they have so we're filling in all the squares here. There's two for that one, one for that, and oxygen needs two. That's only got one, so that's why the hydrogen gets on the end of that one. And go through and do the dots. We got four bonds in that carbon. That takes care of that one, takes care of that, takes care of that. So carbon's got all the corners, got to cover all the bases. So there's a spartate. Spartic acid, actually. We're not, we didn't do the ion. I know, I'm blabbering. Okay, so there it is, all colorful. So now when we go back, we're able to line up our amino acid chain on the floor here like we had it. What we're going to see is we got one going that way. Carbon has to go to the nitrogen. So now we're flipped over. Just line it up. You see that that hits that. Threonine, nitrogen to carbon there. Just showing up here. Be a little closer. So see that? This is the way the proteins in your body are put together. This goes all the way back to... This is a fun exercise. I can't understand why everybody doesn't love this because you don't have to get to college to study it and learn it anymore. Look how simple this is. This is kindergarten stuff. What do we got here? That one, see this one's backwards. That's why we had to have it that way to begin with. Nitrogen to carbon. Now we can put carbon to nitrogen. So this is the way that an amino acid is strung together. An amino acid. The amino acids are strung together to make a protein. So say you're coming along here. Nitrogen, carbon, carboxyl. 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 So see, this is your whole string along here. One up, one down. Now the fun exercise I guess we could do next, I was going to cut these out, but I, I think it would mess up the name on the bottom. But you could tape these together, and then the whole idea of the way the amino acids work is that they then take this third dimension, they call it the third dimension, tertiary structure, so it folds in on itself. 
to create little pockets of where they like water, pockets where they don't like water. And that's the way an enzyme will work. It'll get these active sites, they call it. So there's our example. We are going to use our template just to show us where the nitrogen and the carbon are. So here we go again. We line it up. We get our triangle. Over here, we'll put our mark to get our carbon. So we're going to color it in here now to make it look. This is our diamond. And what do we have in the middle? This is where that's down in the bottom. Some will give that like a C prime, you know, they'll call it, it's our special carbon there coming down. So what's the one we're going to do first here to warm ourselves up? There's always a diamond here, so we're going to do this special because we've got to conserve room here. So we got diamond to diamond, no line in between it this time. Now down here, what we get, this is going to be phenylalanine. Phenylalanine. This gets P-H-E, I believe, is the three-letter designation. Now what does it get? Phenyl is going to be the benzene ring thing. How do we draw a benzene ring? This is complicated. Oh my god, we got double bonds. Fret not. It's, it's going to come in, it's going to be bound to one of the carbons on the ring. So here's diamond number one. It's just six carbons, so what do we do here? Some are going to be double bonds, so it's just going to get a little tricky about where do we put the diamond on the top or the bottom. So we're just going to go that way. We'll do it on top. We'll carry this one in and say that one. So there's another diamond. Because see, some of these are going to have double bonds. We don't know yet. And this we'll bring that way and this we'll bring that way. That's all there is to it. Six carbons. Now the next thing is there's six protons. So to make this simple, look, there's one on the E. Uh, is there one on that? Uh, 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 uh. I don't know my science too much. Let's do these first. We're going to have one on each of these. So if we do say one, 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 now what we need to do are the triple bonds. And I knew I messed that one up. Up here, dot lovers who love doing the dots. Connect the dots. Do our green to keep this true since we're so good at keeping the... Every corner gets somebody, right? So we drew this kind of small. Can we zoom in on here and see what happens there? We're concentrating on this part right here. Okay. So really, it can't be anything else because of the double bonding on it. So the way they actually have it, I knew I blew it. So let's do this this way. This is double bond number one. We'll put our dot out here. And when we're looking around here, one, two, three, four bonds. There be washable ink. I got it all over my fingers. Over here, one, two, three. That must be a double bond. Over here, one, two, three, four. So that one's fine. That's got all four bonds on it there. So now we come down to this one. One, two, three. Up. Oh, there's one that doesn't have it. 
One, two, three, up. Oh, there's one that doesn't have it. So this is going to get a little messy. It'll be a crisscross. 